It's a beautiful day in LA. Reach for the sky, detective. A beautiful and well-maintained lawn. Your money must have a professional landscape partner. The grass feels good to the touch. You must be lonely to talk to grass, Gary. Grass doesn't have ears. It's a Sega Palm. Detective, climbing a palm requires years of practice, bare feet and a machete between your teeth. It's just like talking to a tree. The Malibu Mountain Range. That's way too far for you to reach. The home of Yo Money, mega superstar rapper. The construction is solid, but what else would you expect with a house like this? Were you raised in a barn? Shouting at Money's house is no way for an LAPD detective to behave. You already possess Money's address, no reason to write it down. A 1989 Lamborghini Countach, the 25th anniversary model. Detective, you need to move closer if you want to check out the car. The least banner tape marks the crime scene. Leave the tape in place. Let SID decide when to remove it, Detective. The body outlined of Officer Rene Garcia. Better not rub away the chalk, Detective. SID might need to come back out. Notating the crime scene's relationship to the house could prove important later. Indigenous plants decorate the well-tended flower bed. If you really want to pick the flowers, Detective, you'll need to move closer. It's a well-tended flower bed. Yo Money wouldn't like you to pick his flowers. It looks like a woman's shoe. It's a broken stiletto. The shoe flops in your hand as the shank is broken. Front door to Yo Money's home. Yeah, what do you want? It's Big Danny D, Yo Money's bodyguard. You got a problem, man? Hello, I'm Detective Carey, Homicide LAPD. I'd like to speak with Yo Money. Is he available? <laughs> you want to talk to Yo Money? Yeah. <laughs> well, so would half the world. You got anything to back up your claim? No? Then get the hell out of here, man, before I call the real cops. Hello, I'm Detective Carey, Homicide LAPD. I'm here to speak with Yo Money. Is he available? You know, you've shown me that pretty shiny badge before. What is it you want? So, you got a shoe. What about it? I found it in the flower bed by the crime scene. Have you seen it before? You implying it's mine or something? I'm merely asking if you've seen this shoe before. Well, hey, yo, you put it that way, no! I ain't seen it before. Unless, of course, it was on some babe's foot. 
Babe's foot? Could you clarify that for me? What babe? Shit, man. There's so many coming and going all day and night. I mean, you know, I mean, who knows their names? So you got a vest. You need a vest out there. The streets keep getting meaner, my man. Wait a second. You implying I got a problem? That something might be broke around here? Get that crap out of my face. Hey, what the hell are you saying, pal? I don't need your puny paycheck. I'm a man of means. Bolster your weapon, carry. This guy won't hesitate to fire back. What? You want to compare to see who's is bigger? Hey, <laughs> shit. You guys are all the same. Y'all got gun envy. Look, pal. I ain't no waiter, okay? I don't take no tips. Got it? Well, wait a sec. What are you doing here? You setting up a sting? Trying to sell me some shit? Look, this body's a temple, pal. I don't use. Got it? Hell, your old heap ain't nothing to my ride. Get those keys out of my face. You got some kind of warrant? It's doubtful he'd be interested in vacation photos, Detective. Whoa, so you work out of Parker Center. That's the creme de la creme for you cops, ain't it? Trying to scare the guy? What? You think you're cute or something? Make the big boy bigger? I'll show you how big I am, chump. You probably wouldn't appreciate the humor of your offer. This man is a tax-paying citizen, not a criminal. Calm down. You collecting samples or something, pal? Get that out of my face. You probably wouldn't appreciate your offer. Don't shine that light in this guy's face if you want to see tomorrow. He's definitely alive and kicking. No chalk required here, Detective. Hey, I'm on a strict weight training regime. I don't snack. Is Yo Money available? I need to speak with him. Come on in. Yo Money's been wanting to talk to you cops. Well, look who's here, our representative from the police department. It's about time you got here. Have you seen the mess out in our lawn? Do you have any idea what kind of field day the press is having with this? Do you have any idea what this is doing to record sales? A dead cop on our lawn. What the hell are you doing about it? I think you people planted that dead cop on our lawn. Probably knew something he shouldn't. And what better way to diffuse attention than to dump him on the lawn of a controversial rapper? This is such bullshit. I want that yellow tape off our lawn immediately. I want the persons responsible to own up. If this screws sales on money's record, I swear I'll make sure some butt is kicked. This woman is very pretty. Too bad she smokes. Yo, cup up. Keep your hands where I can see you. Please calm down, miss. I'm here to discuss the situation. Oh yeah? Well then, let's hear it. I'd like to start by asking a few questions. I have nothing to say to you other than this is our home and we've been victimized. We didn't ask for a dead cop on our lawn. 
major expensive couch, it's ultra sweat. Feels comfy but you haven't been invited to sit down detective. It's a frosted glass coffee table. Careful, you're gonna leave smudge marks. The ashtray is full of half-smoked, lipstick-stained cigarette butts. People are watching. The ashtray is an inanimate object, it doesn't talk. Hello? What do you want? Knock this crap off! Quit calling us! Oh yeah? Bullshit! Quit calling, do you understand? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Menthol Garden Cigarettes, taken from the ashtray at Yo Money's house. Ashes coat the half-smoked cigarette. Smoking, a nasty habit. Stop before you start. Yeah, you want something? I was wondering if I might speak with Yo Money once again. Alright, but this time, mind your manners. It's Yo Money, 24-year-old mega superstar rapper. Chill, 5-0. Hello, Money. Sorry to intrude. Yo, man, what's your business? Money, who discovered Officer Garcia? Yo, my man, he was just there. Who knows? We all found it. Danny D saw him. I saw him. He was just there, man. Money, the body was found around 4 or 5 a.m. Had you been out the evening before, or were you home? Had a house party. Some girls in, you know, a little party. Were you familiar with all the guests, or were there people here you didn't know? Yo, I don't take the strangers, man. We had some girls in, for my bros. A little entertainment. Me and Nicolette. We was mostly upstairs. The party? It's one of those perks are working for me. Money, your music is controversial. Do you know of anyone who would want to harm your reputation further? <laughs> Shit, man. Everybody's got enemies. Ain't no different with me. Well, have you recently experienced any problems through the mail, telephone calls? There's this Nazi dude. Doesn't like to see a brother doing well. Sends me shit in the mail, a real asshole. His name is Walker. Dennis Walker. What can you tell me about this Dennis Walker? He's a racist asshole. For a while, he was driving by, hollering shit at my house. I got a restraining order. I still get shit in the mail. Ends up in the trash. Yo, man, he was arrested for trespassing on my property a while ago. Oh, shit. He's a boil on a pig butt. Oh, sorry, man. No insult intended. None taken. If you remember anything out of the ordinary that happened the night the body was found, please call me at Parker Center. Just ask for robbery homicide. 10450. I'd like to ask. I have nothing to say to you. You took the cigarette for a reason, Harry, and giving it to money was not it. The endorsement of smoking is not part of a police officer's duty, Carrie.
Detective Carey, wait on note taking. You don't want to alarm this guy. This woman has not provided a shred of valuable information. Do you recognize this shoe? I found it in the flower bed out front. What are you saying? I'm some kind of cheap cow? Where do you get off? No, no, I didn't mean to insult you. I found this in close proximity to where the body was found. Well, it's not mine. I wouldn't wear such a cheap piece of trash. If you're gonna insult me, you better leave now. Money, this shoe was found in your front flower bed. Do you know where it might have come from? Well, lots of booty coming and going around here. Could you clarify yourself, Money? Ladies, babes, booty, strippers, same man, women. We got lots of women coming in and out of here. Too bad you packed your case, detective, because there's no way you're spending the night in this house. Yo, that's some big Jimmy Cap. Detective, Nicolette might find your gesture insulting. Money's not giving samples today. I beg your pardon? Money's a rapper, not a leper. Relax, Carrie. Money, get this creep out of here. Yo, chill out, 5-0. We'll cool. We'll cooperate with your ass. But you show my lady some respect, okay? Get that light out of my face. Though money's laid back, he is a live detective. No chalking required. This woman is definitely alive. She requires no chalking. What are you saying? That money and I are in danger? Well, I won't wear that thing. That shit's not for me, man. What kind of cop are you anyway? Bets are that money would not dig taking a piece of fruit from a cop detective. What's that for? Money doesn't need your cash. He's got more than enough, Gary. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think I am? Chill, copper. What's up with the green? You insulting my lady. Hello? What do you want? Knock this crap off. Quit calling us. Oh yeah? Bullshit? Quit calling. Do you understand? I couldn't help but notice the unwanted phone call. This is personal business. We don't need your intervention. Money, that phone call. It's under control. It's an unfinished business, that's all, man. This man has not threatened you, detective. Holster your weapon. Holster your weapon, detective. Deadly use of force is not called for. Don't bother. I know you a cop. Danny D's on the job. I don't need to see your badge. Do you really think you'd be in here if you weren't a cop? Yeah? I told you to quit calling us. Listen, listen, listen to me. You quit calling here, do you understand? 
Do you understand harassment, arrest, jail? You quit calling us, you foul mouth piece of crap. Oh yeah? Well, go to hell. Go to hell. Money would be insulted if you tipped him. Keep the spare change, detective. Your gesture could insult Nicolette. Keep the change. A drug pushing cop. Now I've heard it all. Remember, prescription drugs can harm or kill if not properly prescribed and dispensed. My ride's out front, not looking to trade. Mm. I can just imagine what you drive. Keep it. This man has done nothing to warrant arrest. Forget the cuffs. What the hell? You saying I'm arrested? What the hell for? Put the handcuffs away. This woman has not broken any laws. It's doubtful this bitch, a oh, witch, would be interested in your life, detective. Yeah? How many times? Listen, you piece of crap. We will track you down, find you, and prosecute you. Do you understand? What you're doing is illegal. No, you listen to me. Shut up. Shut your filthy mouth. Listen, we don't have to take this. In America, there are laws against what you're doing. Do you think attacking people is a way to make yourself bigger or stronger? You got a lot of problems. Later, man. I got business to tend to. Ooh, one of the elite. So you work in the big glass building downtown, while I live in this huge house on the west side. Hollow points. Hmm. So what? I'm not impressed with your little bullet. Oh, lucky you. Get to go out and blow off a few rounds legally. Well, lucky you. with you. Some new LAPD policy? Well, no thanks. Hey, you heard the man. It's time to leave. Let's go. Yeah, you want something? Your money's busy. If you want to see him, you'll have to come back. You attach your Parker Center ID to your suit. Detective, my wife would kill me if I took up smoking. <laughs> Thanks just the same. What do you think of this shoe, Linder? Well, I think either you're living a double life, or I've misjudged your social life. I hope it's the latter, Detective. Honestly, I do. I shudder to think otherwise. It almost fits you, Carrie, though it doesn't go with your suit.
You press the button to call the elevator. You select the fourth floor as your destination. Hello, sir. And how are you doing? How's the investigation going? Hello, Teddy. Sir, you want to book this into property? Maybe you should just return it to your lady friend. I found it outside the home of your money. It wasn't exactly part of the crime scene. It was off to the side. I don't know yet if it's related. What do you think about this shoe? It looks like a shoe somebody would wear to entice or excite a man. I'd like to meet a lady who would wear a pair of these for me. And one of those little things, those little lace tops and bottoms. What do they call them? Teddies? Sir, this is a half-smoked cigarette. It's not in an evidence bag. Did this originate from a crime scene? No, it didn't, Baker. I have a hunch it might match up with the cigarette found next to Hickman's body. I wanted some tests run. Sir, that evidence has not been returned from SID. Unless this cigarette is related to a criminal or crime scene, I can't process it. Better go see Chester with it. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. You select the third floor as your destination. Al appears immersed in his work. Better leave him be. It's your very own desk. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. You complete a 3.14 documenting your interview of your money. Here you go, Hal. You are, Junior. I don't smoke that girly kind. You making a comment about my manhood, Junior? Pal, I found this outside your money's house in a flower bed, close to where Garcia's body was found. What do you make of it? Hell, Junior, it's a lady's shoe. Been a while since you had a date? No, Hal, what I mean is, I found it outside Money's house after Garcia turned up dead. Do you think it could be connected? Well, Junior, no telling how long the shoe was there before either you or Garcia showed up. But by the looks of it, any gal large enough to fit that shoe would probably be large enough to lift a man. That thing's damn huge.
The door's open. Hate to be blunt, old fellow, but leave. This is an important call. Now, you know that information is confidential. Oh, well, no, of course not. You wearing ladies' shoes now, Carrie? You want me to make an appointment for you with a department counselor? Yes, sir, yes. I realize that. Lieutenant Block does not smoke. You adjust your tie and smooth the wrinkles from your suit. You call the elevator. You select the lobby as your destination. Both the apartment building and the neighborhood are run down. The siding could use a new coat of paint detective. The stairwell leads to the top floor apartment. Contain your investigation to the items at hand, like interviewing Walker. According to the latest information the department has, this is the front door of Dennis Walker's apartment. Yeah. Dennis Walker is large and appears to have a nasty disposition. Some mother loving faggot. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Bugger off, faggot. Yeah. I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. Are you Dennis Walker? Yeah. You already showed me that. What do you think I am, stupid? You're looking for a place to stay. This ain't it.
You got a problem, suit? Older detective, this guy could pummel you with one hand tied behind his back. I'm not on no drug test and probation. I don't have to fill no jar. What the fuck, I ain't good enough for you? What the fuck, get that light out of my eyes. Hey, the jacket, watch the fucking jacket. Back off, Carrie. Just stick to detective work. This guy probably has his own vest hanging right next to his fatigues. Bullshit, man. Is that any way to treat fresh fruit? Are you crazy and help fund the cause? Put your wallet away. Bolster your weapon, detective. There is no tactical rationale for this action. What exactly is your intention? Your gesture is unprofessional, detective, and could end up causing you much pain. What the fuck is this, some faggot's footwear? Get it the fuck out of my face! This is not the type of person to whom you want to give drugs. Reconsider your offer, Carrie. This is a department car we're talking about. This man has done nothing to warrant arrest. Put the cuffs away. This would not be the right person to share your memories with. What the fuck do I care about your pretty picture? What is this, trick or treat? Up yours, man! Hold off on jotting down your impression of Walker. He doesn't look like he'd take kindly to you taking notes. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, come on in. Detective, Walker's apartment looks like a transient hellhole. What the fuck are you doing? Quit touching my stuff. A garage sale special. I ain't asked you to sit down and I ain't planning on it. Possibly this table is a hand-me-down from Walker's parents. Get your hands off my fucking table. Garage sale specials abound throughout Walker's apartment. Leave my fucking lamp alone. Amazing that this beat-up old apartment building comes with fireplaces. What the fuck you think you're doing? Get the fuck away from my shit. Some sort of Aryan Brotherhood flag hangs above the fireplace. Leave my fucking flag alone, it ain't illegal. Nazi graffiti adorns the walls. Wonder if the management knows, detective? What the fuck are you doing? Quit touching my stuff! Walker must have a green thumb, detective. This plant looks healthy. Leave it alone, it's my fucking plan. Looks like Aryan Brotherhood propaganda. Carrie, you're not here to clean the walls. 
spray-painted swastika on the wall, Walker probably won't be getting his deposit back when he moves. What the fuck are you doing? Quit touching my stuff! A bit of skull graffiti for the walls, what every home should have, huh, detective? Why would you want to touch that? Now this lamp belongs in house and garden. Why are you touching my stuff? Walker's stereo equipment appears top notch. Get your own fucking speakers. Walker has a flair for decorating. You got a warrant? No, then leave my shit alone. Detective, Walker can't be all bad. He has pet fish. Leave my fucking fish alone. A German military hat. Touch my hat and eat dirt. Walker sure has all the creature cupboards of a home. Get your own goddamn TV. Walker is larger and meaner than you might have first suspected, Detective. What the fuck, man? Am I being arrested? What the fuck for? You've already shown your badge to Walker. No need to again. Holster your gun. Walker has not threatened your life. Forget the charity, Carrie. If Walker needs money, let him get a job. Stop. Walker does not need a Kevlar vest. No citizen should. This young man is twisted, but he's not broken. Keep the glue, detective. Do some kind of faggot. What the fuck did I do? I know my rights. You can't arrest me. I ain't done nothing. So you crawled out of a downtown hole. Big fucking deal. What? You think I'm gonna piss in that jar? No fucking way, man. Probably not a good idea to give this guy possible drug paraphernalia. You're here to interview Walker, not examine him. Watch the jacket, asshole. Dennis, you know a man by the name of Yo Money. He has a restraining order against you. Is that correct? I can't hear you. Dennis, when was the last time you talked to or came in contact with Yo Money? What did you say? What is this music you're playing? It's from the Fatherland. It's my fucking favorite. I can barely hear you. Could we turn it down a little? Go ahead, turn it down. Walker has quite a stereo setup. She looks like a little bulldog, a nasty little bulldog. Tactics teach to avoid physical contact, Carrie. Freeze! Hands in the air. Keep them where I can see them. Drop the knife. Put your hands behind your head. Turn around. Drop to your knees. Now!
you have the right to remain silent. Ooh, that girlfriend of Walker's is something else. Tough for being so petite. Hell, Junior. All women are bears, goddamn grizzlies. What if you thought that little tomato was tough? Where do you meet Garcia's mamacita? Now that's one tough bitch. She's in giving the lieutenant an ear full right now, poor son of a bitch. I am Rosa Garcia. Are you the detective investigating the death of my son? Rosa Garcia, mother of Officer Rene Garcia, deceased. I am talking to you. Have you no respect for a grieving mother? Harry, if you want to donate to the Garcia family, go through proper channels. Blatantly handing people money can embarrass them. She might be bent out of shape, but she's not broken. It's doubtful Mrs. Garcia's life is such that she needs a Kevlar vest. Holster your weapon immediately. She poses no real or implied threat, detective. Carrie, she knows you're a detective. There's no reason to show her your badge. Have a little respect. She just lost her son. Detective, odds are she doesn't want a cigarette right now. Mrs. Garcia, this shoe was found near where your son was discovered. Do you recognize it? My son would never be seen with a woman wearing a shoe like that. Only a hussy, a woman who is lower than a snake's belly in the grass would wear such a shoe. She might need to calm down, but how she does it is up to her physician. She lost her son, not her car. Keep the keys. Arrest her for what, detective? Wanting justice? Her loss is too great, detective. She can't share a happy memory with you. Are you being insensitive to Mrs. Garcia? Yes, I'm Detective John Carey. Let me extend my sincere sympathy for your loss, Mrs. Garcia. I didn't know Rene personally, but I... Well, I knew my son, Detective, and he was a good boy. He lived at home with me. He helped me with my errands. He went to church. I have been told by your lieutenant and the coroner that Rene's poor body was found exposed. I want a person responsible for doing this to my son caught and punished. Yes, Mrs. Garcia, I understand. Do you understand, detective? Do you have a son? Well, no. Well, then you do not understand. Rene helped to take care of me. I have heart trouble. I cannot do heavy lifting. Rene cleaned the house. She did the laundry, cook our meals. Maybe, maybe he once in a while would go to a movie, but he did not date any of those fast-talking modern-type women. He was waiting for a good girl. He was saving himself. And for what? For some pervert to strip him, murder him, you find who did this to my son. Find who killed my son, my beautiful son. I see what you mean, Hal. Yeah, she's got one hell of a personality, huh, Junior? It's your very own desk. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer.
You complete a report on Wendy James' arrest and attempted assault on an officer. A memo from Lieutenant Block. Standard Department Issued Memo Paper Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. You call the elevator. You select the lobby as your destination. Detective, you get no response, it appears no one is home. What makes you think you have a key to Walker's apartment? You don't. Shooting your way in would be criminal, as there is no obvious threat to life or limb. Using that pry bar on the door would be entering without warrant and without cause. That could easily result in a suspension. Entering the morgue always provides a sense of anticipation. Hello, Detective Carey? Wow, you must be real busy. Deputy Nobles is up to his elbows in an autopsy. He can't be interrupted right now, really. Detective Carey, Deputy Nobles is really busy. Honest. Yeah. If I smoked and I was on a date, and I kissed my date, he would think I was an ashtray. Sherry, what do you make of this shoe? Well, it's big and it's broken. Is that what you mean? It must be pretty hard to coordinate your wardrobe around that. Silly, this is a county-run facility. We don't have anything broken here. I just say no. You should too.
Knocking seems less intrusive than ringing the doorbell. Hello, John. Won't you come in? It's nice of you to stop by, John. I'm sorry you missed the funeral. Catherine Hickman, widow. Catherine appears to need emotional support, not physical contact, Carrie. Catherine, I wasn't informed about the time. I wanted to be there. I understand, John. I know how busy you are. I heard about the shooting you were involved in. When I realized you weren't there today, at first, maybe you'd been hurt. Then the chief told me you were fine. I was worried. Thanks for your concern, Catherine, but you don't need to worry about me. I should have called, or... Oh, no. I know how you guys work. It's your life. I understand. I... I was wondering how the investigation was going. Nobody would really tell me very much today. I guess they didn't want to upset me. Well, there's good news. Bob's name has been cleared of any wrongdoing or involvement with the Washington boy's death. Bob's gun was retrieved and ballistics testing cleared it as the murder weapon. However, new evidence suggests that Bob's death is unrelated to the alley incident. It appears we might have a cop killer on our hands. Oh, John, that's horrible. Really horrible. Catherine, I know this is a rough time for you, but I need to ask you to think back to the night of the murder. Can you think of anything out of the ordinary happening that night? Any phone calls? Anything Bob might have said? Did he mention anyone? Maybe a name you're unfamiliar with? Bob and I had an argument. He went out, John. I don't know where he went or if he saw anyone. Thing is, he didn't take our car. I don't think anyone picked him up. I mean, we started arguing and the whole thing just blew up. He was gone before I really had a chance to understand what happened. Can you tell me what you argued about? We fought over his drinking. He... Oh, everything was manageable until he started taking sedatives to calm down from work. The combination made him mean. He'd yell at Valerie and me for no reason. That's how he left when he went out that night. He'd been drinking and taking pills. John, I sent Bob out there to be killed. It's all my fault. You're wrong, Catherine. It's not your fault. Someone took Bob's life, and I'm going to find that person. The flag off of Bob's casket. This flag belongs to Catherine and Valerie. Leave it be, Carrie. Looking to recite the Pledge of Allegiance, Carrie? I'd really rather not read that memo, John. Thank you anyway. Actually, a cigarette sounds pretty good, John, but I quit. I promised Bob I wouldn't smoke, and, well, now I feel I need to honor that promise. John, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. I'm taking Valerie to my mother's. I think she and I could both use some rest. I'll call you when we get back. Have a safe trip, Catherine. Thank you, John. Thank you for coming by.